Thank you, Queen of England. Now we can roll the intro. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you awesome watch content at least once a week. And if you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased. So please see the description below to contact us. In our last video, we did an in-depth review of two of the new Omega Constellation pieces, and they really turned out to be special. I recommend checking this video out, even if you were never interested in a Constellation before. Today we are going to review two of Bremont's broadsword pieces, which are part of their military collection. We're going to do the black dial with the steel case version, and we're going to do the bronze case with the Sotek dial version. What's a Sotek dial? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Let's get on to the video. In 2019, Bremont started a partnership with the British Ministry of Defense, which honors Her Majesty's armed forces. In this partnership, Bremont is the sole luxury watch producer allowed to legitimately use the signs, symbols, and heraldic badges of all three services, which are Royal Navy, Army, and Air Force. In the Armed Forces collection, these two pieces are called the Broadswords and have a totally new case design for Bremond that is not a triptych. Let's get on to the features. But before we continue, make sure that you smash that subscribe button right now. It's right underneath where I'm pointing. Hit the button, go ahead and do it right now, and then let's go ahead and continue. The Broadsword has a case that is made out of extra hardened steel, which the steel was heat treated and diffused with carbon then bombarded with electrons to give it a dramatic increase in hardness and scratch resistance. While the other version is bronze and uses an 8% tin alloy to give it extra hardness, wear, and corrosion resistance. The case size is 40 millimeters wide, 12 millimeters thick, 47 millimeters lug to lug, and has a 20 millimeter lug width, while weighing in at a very light 86 grams. The case is completely matte finished and has three graduated lines on each side. A screw down crown can be found at the three o'clock position. The dial is a matte black on the one piece and a fascinating Sotek color on the other, which is a military color that is a mixture of teal and green. Bremont and HMAF, which stands for Her Majesty's Armed Forces, can be found at the top middle with Arabic numeral indices, pencil style hands in a brushed bronze on the Sotek, a date aperture at the three position that has a blacked out background and white numerals. The seconds are in a small second complication found above the six position and London can be found on the inside of the subdial on the black, but on the chapter ring instead on the Sotek. Loom can be found on all indices in Bremont's proprietary color, all three hands, pips above the indices, and a small dash in between. The case back is closed and shows off the heraldic badges of the three British Armed Forces, Army, Navy, and Air Force, with an open area for the future British Space Force. The movement is chronometer certified and is called the BE-95-2AV, which is a modified ETA that has an Anacron balance spring Niviflex 1 mainspring, and Glucidur balance. It operates at 28,800 beats per hour and has a 38-hour power reserve. The strap is made out of green sailcloth on the black dial model with a silver-toned tain buckle and Bremont written across, while the Sotek has a brown Nubuck leather strap with white stitching on the sides and, of course, a bronze tang buckle. The broadswords are 100 meter water resistant and ready to go into the trenches with you for a wonderful $3,445 for the black dial and $3,775 for the Sotek dial and bronze case. Now for my humble opinion. I will say that the signs of the British military aren't what makes this watch special. I don't relate to them in any way possible. Although, perhaps you will. But both of these pieces are very simple and cool. 
and fit on my six and a half inch wrist very well. The bronze Sotec is a really stunning color combo and it deserves a look from all of you. And for a bronze piece, it really does have a good value. I would be interested in the black dial as my daily comfort piece. My current daily comfort piece is my Mula Glassuta Promare Go, which fills the need for something that you are just comfortable wearing all the time. And if you hit it on something, you don't care at all. And it really doesn't attract much attention either. All Braemont watches can take a beating and barely show any sign of wear, which is really what sets them apart from the rest. I'll recommend the black dial version as an ultimate daily comfort watch, while the bronze one will be for someone that wants a more attention grabbing piece that really just pops and will be more of a fun fashion accessory. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I hope that you really enjoyed the content. And of course, if you did, make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and of course, share this with your friends. We look forward to seeing you next video.